And joining us live from London is Channel News Asia's Timothy Go. Tim, a great opening ceremony. How is the mood among the athletes and fans there? It was a fantastic opening ceremony last night, Glenda. Although there were some concerns that some people outside of the UK who are not aware of the UK um, uh, cultures and traditions might not understand some parts of the opening ceremony, but I think that's where uh, 007 came in and Mr. Bean and, and all the other uh, uh, literary uh, characters that we know about, Alice in Wonderland, Lord Voldemort from Harry Potter. Uh, but would you believe this, though? I just found out that... Uh, out of the 90 or so dignitaries, presidents, uh, prime ministers, and majesties who uh, attended the opening ceremonies, they were actually, they actually had to queue and take a bus to the uh, Olympic Stadium in eastern part of London. Earlier in the evening, the Queen uh, hosted a uh, reception for all the dignitaries and uh, to get them to the venue on time without all the limousines uh, blocking the streets they were actually uh, asked to board buses to get to the Olympic venue. So, you know, queens were sitting beside prime ministers and presidents and other representatives uh, of other countries present there. Uh, anyway, we uh, also a few days ago managed to join the IOC president, Jacques Roga, for a tour of the Olympic Village. Have a look. During his tour of the village, Jacques Roga inspected a room in the Brazilian housing block, chatted with athletes, and watched a team welcoming ceremony featuring circus performers. For Canada's basketball player, Michelle Plouf, it's all about getting to know fellow athletes. All different shapes and sizes of athletes are just in one place, and it's cool to see all the, yeah, what everyone does. London's mayor, Boris Johnson, is also proud to show off the results of the committee's hard work. I didn't say we were going to compete, I said we were going to do better. That, that was my prophecy. I said we were going to do better, but we would do better in our own ingenious way without necessarily spending quite so much money. The village may look tame now as athletes are in the midst of focusing for the task at hand, but athletes who have attended the Olympics before say the village erupts into partying and merriment closer to the end of the Games. Timothy Go, Channel News Asia at the 2012 London Olympic Games. All right, thanks, Tim, for that uh, very colorful package. And uh, you know I have my request from London for you. <laughs> well, that's it. That's the news I for now. I ready. <laughs> and that's the news for now in Asia. Tonight, for more what's happening on our programs, log on to facebook.com slash channel news Asia.